today I want to show you a few different ways that I work with images that I find online. So first off, I just go straight to Google and type in what I'm looking for. Add the words clip art or coloring page to the end of whatever the topic is you're searching for. Then click on the images button. Look here for things that are really good and crisp and clear. This one even says that it's in a clip art library. Those are usually some pretty good images. I've already saved a few different images to my desktop so that I can show you how I do this process. So I'm going to go upload, upload image and browse to my desktop where I have my different Grinch images. Let's start with this one. It's just a black and white image. I'm going to click on simple and continue. And then I'm going to scroll down here where it says more options. I'm going to actually reduce my colors to two. Now I'm going to select the magic wand and click here and see how that removed all of that white, turned it to a checkerboard. That's what we want. The checkerboard means it's transparent. So now I can click inside all of these areas and I can zoom in. And get these little areas. I know I saw another spot that I wanted to get. I'm going to go preview cut image. And now it's going to show me my lines. I'm going to go with that, I think. Let's zoom back out. I like it. Apply and continue. This is where about 90% of people go wrong. They look at this and go, oh, this looks more crisp and clear. I'll pick this one. Look underneath, though. This says print then cut image. That means it's going to send it to your printer to cut. Well, what if I just want to cut this out of vinyl to stick on an ornament? I want the cut image. Trust me. Okay, so now I have it right there. And I go add to canvas. See, it comes in nicer. So that is how I upload an image to cut with vinyl or out of cardstock or whatever I want, really. You're like, Sean, that's great. But how do I get all these different colors filled in? Don't worry, I'm getting there. I'm going to duplicate this. And I'm going to bring this one over here. And I'm going to change it to red. And now I'm going to use the contour button. And I'm going to say, turn off this one, because I don't want that outline and turn off that one and that one. Because what I want red is just the hat. You know, the other way to do this is look over here and say, okay, that's the smile. This, you can see the shape of that, is the inside of the hat. So really, we want everything else turned off. And if we go like this, see, that made the hat red. So let's do that again. And this one I'm going to do white because I want this fuzzy and that fuzzy on the pom-pom. So I get in contour. And I want to turn off everything except for... This is the fuzzy along the edge, and this kind of looks the same. So I'm going to watch what happens over here when I click this. See the whole thing got lighter? So that's how I know that's the right piece. So then this looks like the pom-pom. Yep. Okay. So now that I know I have those two isolated, I can just turn everything else off. Contour is amazing for changing your images around and removing parts you don't want. 
And don't worry too much about lining it up perfectly in here because when you cut it, that's when you really have to line it up. Um, oh, should we have made the inside of his eyes white or are those yellow? Let's make, hold on, let me check. His eyes are green when he's mean, but then they do turn white when he's happier. Okay, so then let's go and just click on that white layer again. And I can do that from over here also. So now I can see I, I'm selecting just the white. So I go contour. I want to turn the insides of his eyes back on. There we go. The last step I want to do is make his whole face green. So if I go duplicate and change it to green. Okay. Now I can go contour. So a lot of you might go, wait, turn off that outline. You made this all wonky. I couldn't get solid. Well, let me tell you why. Do you see down here how this gap, this his face isn't closed off. So this is something else that I teach people. If you're using an image like this and the outer shape is not closed off and there's a gap, we have to close that gap. So I'm going to go into my shapes, insert a square, and unlock it so I can make it a rectangle. That's about the same width as that outline. Because we don't want a big fat connection. We want it to kind of look like it blends in. And let's rotate it a little bit. Is this perfect? No, but Will it get us what we need? Sure will. Okay, so now I can select both of those things and say weld them together. And see, now it's closed off. Oops. Let's zoom out. So now when I click on contour, if I click that outline piece, you can see there's a piece that's the face that stays put together. Let's just do this just to see. Okay, now the face stays all put together. So let me just finish contouring by turning off that. And I want the whites of the eyes turned off. When I do my layered designs, I like to have my black a solid layer. That way, when I go to place the other ones on top, if they're not lined up perfectly like that, I don't see those little gaps. So I am actually going to close off the bottom of the Grinch piece by doing the same shapes trick. And honestly, if I was doing this for myself, I would have done this before duplicating, but I'm just doing this for a demonstration, so it's okay. So if I take those two and weld them, now I can contour, let's zoom back out. Now I can contour the black 
tell it to hide all contours. And then go arrange and send that to the back. So now when I put this over the top, see how I don't have to be as precise. Okay, so that's how I would do that. You're like, that's great, Sean. What if you already have a image that you found that's already colored in? You can do that too. This is how I've done the same process. I either, one, go out and find the image in just the black and white and do it myself, or I go like this and go upload image, and let's find bridge face that I found here. So what I'm going to do is go down to more options and change my color to tolerance to 100. So now I'm going to select and get rid of the white background. And then I'm also going to get rid of the yellow inside the eyes. Okay, so then if I go, let's go preview. That looks pretty good. Apply and continue. Save this as the cut and say upload. Then I can go to upload image, browse, get the same Grinch face, continue. Let's do that same, change the tolerance to 100. Now I'm going to select and erase the white and all the black. Now, when you click Cut Preview, you are going to see some little shrapnel of the black. Just grab your eraser and start to come through here and wipe those off. So now I'm going to apply and continue and call that yellow. Now you might wonder, why doesn't it just come in yellow? Because the Cricut can't understand color, at least the software can't understand color on upload. That's one way that the Cricut software is different than using SVG software. Okay, so now, if I click this and this and say add to canvas, it comes in like this, and this one is the Grinch face, but this is the one I want yellow. And now I can just place those yellow eyes right in there. So that's how you can use an image that has multiple colors. And then I personally would group these so that I can resize them together. Before you go, make sure to like, subscribe, and comment below. I love to hear from you.